So we've all heard the saying, it takes money to make money. But the beautiful part about cryptocurrency trading is that you really don't need that much capital at all to be able to grow a small account and create a massive income machine for yourself if you know how to do it properly. So today in this video, I'm gonna use my seven years experience as a full-time day trader, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I would take a $100 account and grow it into a $10,000 account. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to get access to capital. I'm gonna show you the exact strategy that I would use to safely grow your account. Okay, I'm gonna show you a system that you can start using today to actually take these trades. And I'm gonna show you case studies of the trades that I take with my core team of traders to be able to make three to $5,000 per week trade in cryptocurrency. So if that sounds good to you and that's your goal, make sure you hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel if you like trading and investing, check us out on Discord and on Instagram. Okay, we have a whole amazing trading community. So the biggest barrier to entry for most people starting their trading journey is the amount of money that they have in their account. Okay, so I'm gonna show you right now how you can take a $100 account and be able to use $10,000 worth of capital to safely take these trades. I'm partnered up with Bybit. Bybit's probably the best cryptocurrency trading exchange out there. That's why we partnered with them. Okay, they offer us up to 125X leverage on some pairs. You can see right here on certain pairs, we only go up to about 50. This is probably the single most important thing to understand when you're getting into trading. Without this, you're going to lose money, I promise you. So just make sure you pay attention to this part right here. Okay, so for example, with my trades, I'm risking $500 per trade in attempts to make anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000 per trade, but say we're working with a $100 account. Okay, that means at 10%, we're risking $10 per trade. But now we need to figure out how many coins we need to buy in order to only risk $10. Okay, so leaving systems aside for a second, let's say we wanted to buy ApeCoin at this level, put our stop loss down at this level, meaning that if we're wrong and it continues moving down, we're selling our position and that we wanna take profit at this level. What we wanna do is find the difference between these values, and that's gonna give us 0.057. Then we're gonna take the dollar amount risk we want to risk per trade, which in this case is $10, and we're gonna divide it by the difference between the entry and the stop. Okay, and that's going to give us the amount of tokens that we need to buy in order to risk only $10. Okay, if we're just going in with 250 coins or a thousand coins, we're never gonna be able to dial in our risk reward and you're going to absolutely screw yourself. So make sure that you're not doing that. You need to have that set dollar amount. Okay, so that means that in order to find the capital requirement or the amount of money that we need for this trade, we have to take the amount of coins and multiply it by the entry price, which is this level here. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna take 175 coins multiplied by 3.35, and that's going to give us 587 dollars that we need to be able to get into this position. When we're using leverage, the only thing it's changing is how much money we personally need to put into the trade. So if I have a $100 account and I use 100x leverage, that means now I have $10,000 to use. Okay, because if we only had a $100 account, okay, this 587 is already 5x the size of our cash value of our account, which makes it impossible. Okay, so let's go over to Bybit here. Let's say we want to take this ape trade here. Okay, we need 175 coins. We can see right here, our capital requirement for this position is $586. Now watch what happens when we open up our leverage. Okay, and you're gonna get this warning that the liquidation is high. Okay, as long as you're quantifying your entry and your exit, and you're risking that $10, you are safe and you're doing the right thing. Okay, so now the only thing that we need to use for this position is $12, which is 12% 12 of our entire account. Okay, so this leverage capability is changing nothing about the risk profile on the trade. Okay, if you plan on trading anyways, use the referral link in the description. Okay, each week we do a giveaway where anyone trading with 50K volume or higher is gonna be automatically entered to win $100 per week. We're picking three winners a week. Okay, we're trying to give the fees that we're collecting from the affiliate program back into the community for you guys trading with us. Link is below. You can check out our Discord where we announce the winners. Okay, before we hop into the trading system that you can use to start taking these trades, I wanna go over the rules that I would recommend using when growing a small account. Okay, so the first rule is start with the dollar amount risk per trade, 10% of starting balance. On a $100 account, use that $10 risk. Okay, each time you double the account, so when you go to 100 up to 200, okay, you wanna move that up to the 10% of the 200, moving it to the $20 per trade threshold. Get comfortable with the dollar amount and use that there until we scale our account up a little bit larger. The 
The third thing, and this is super important, is everyone has a psychological threshold when it comes to how much money they're comfortable risking. If I'm looking at losing $500 like this, $500, $500, where I lose three trades in a row, I don't care who you are or what the math says, you're going to start feeling a little bit emotional about the trades. And that's something that you really want to avoid until you're comfortable doing that. Okay. So say you work your way up to 200 to 500 to a thousand. Okay. And then 10% of a thousand is a hundred dollars per trade. And that's too much for you. Okay. You can walk that back down to $50 per trade, pick that fixed amount. Once you want to preserve your capital and just pick a goal per day on the money that you want to make. Once you get up to a comfortable threshold where it's fitting your income goals. So for me personally, you know, I like to make three, that three to $5,000 per week. So I'm using, you know, about 2.5% of my entire account balance, right around $20,000 that I keep in my account. And then I'll increase it, you know, a couple years from now, move up to a thousand, try to make three to 5,000 per trade and try to double my income. Okay, so let's get into the bread and butter of the actual trading. This is a system that I've been trading the markets with for the past couple months that I've absolutely been nailing trades with. I'm gonna show you one of the setups that I had on XRP when I was actually in Dubai. Okay, but what I wanna do is find an area where I have a newly established uptrend. First thing that I wanna do is identify my wave count. Okay, so if this is our beginning wave one, first pullback is two, largest wave is up to three pullback is four and then the high is five and the way we can try to find the top of five is by using a fibonacci projection off of our one wave so if this is our one value i'm going to click here click back here and then find my factor of one and you can see the price action sort of consolidated right along this level if we take a fibonacci retracement off of this level and go up to the high of one if our price action comes down through the 61.8 or lower we're going to want to target the 261.8 range okay and you can see right here we got three four reacted five came up and then we got our consolidation in here okay so the next thing that i want to do is once i've confirmed that my wave five is here and we get a pullback to this region is I wanted to click a trend off of the high of three right here down to the low of A. This is gonna give me a channel of price action to follow. Okay, then I'm just gonna clone this up by right clicking on it, put this at the high of five right here. I'm gonna click at my high of five down to the low of A. And then I'm gonna set my entry to get short. A lot of people don't know that you can take the short side of markets, but basically I want the price to go down and that's gonna allow me to make money as well. Okay, so if I wanna get short in on this 61.8 level here, I'm gonna put my stop loss to get out of the position just over my five here. And this profit target is gonna be to be determined for the moment. Okay, so if I play this forward, price action comes up, gets me filled in this level. So now I'm short, okay? And the way you do this on Bybit, okay, see this sell short button that we have? This instance, we wanted to get short at 41 cents. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is find my position size. Okay, so I'm gonna take 0.411, subtract that by my stop loss value at 0.4203. That's going to give me this value, take my $10 risk and then divide it by that value to get my unit amount for a $10 risk on this trade. Okay, so that means I need a thousand XRP tokens. With my 10X leverage, it's gonna cost me $37. I can crank this up to 50, hit confirm. Okay, so now you can see my capital requirement for this trade is going to be $8. And I put my stop loss at that 0.42 level and then I would just hit open short position. And that's going to make it so that when this price trades back down to this level or wherever my profit target is, I'm going to make money on the position going down. Okay, you can trade both sides of this market. This system works in both directions. Okay, so if I play this forward, you can see price comes down. Once you see the A level break, or at least touch like that. So we have price moving down, boom, we have a break. We can start setting our profit target. And the way we do that is we go over here, we go into our trend-based FIB extension. I'm gonna click at the high of B, down to the low of A, and then back up to this level here. Okay, so what I wanna do is drive Fibonacci off of this overall trend up to my high here. And you can see, here's where my 61.8 is and see how this is matching up perfectly with the 261.8 projection off of our AB. That's going to give us our projection for C for a profit target. Okay, and I did this in real time in my vlog, so I'm not just looking after the fact and knowing that it happened. I literally showed it in real time because this stuff always works. Fibonacci is the answer to life. It's the key of life. Okay, so make sure that you learn Fibonacci if you learn nothing else from this. Okay, so you can see prices trading forward, comes back, retests our trend a bit. And then overnight, we get a massive dump off in price. Low is broken. See where this bottom forms right here. And then we get our exact profit target hit. Okay, and then this ends up trading back up 
and coming up higher. Okay, so you can see how if you're only risking $10 on this, you would have already made $41 in profit on this trade. You can see by that ratio right in that box right there. So even if you're wrong, like more than half of the time, okay, if you're making a one to four risk reward, you're gonna break even being right 20% of the time, okay? If you're right 30% of the time, you're profitable 40%, 50%, and so on. You can use this table with your trades to figure out how much money you're going to make over time with your system. Okay, so you really don't need to worry about always being right. You just need to make sure that you're setting up these trades properly. And in conjunction with the proper sizing and the rules that I set up, there's no reason why you can't take a $100 account and trade that up to 1,000. 5,000, 10,000 and continue growing till you get to that comfortable range. Okay, and if we look, one of our students recently was able to take our training, take all the things that we're basically talking about in this video right here, was able to lock in $2,600 on his first trade. Okay, and then he was closing out all sorts of crazy profits. And you can see he did give us a little bit of shout out there, which is amazing. People here know what they're doing. Bought the course seven days ago and is already making crazy bank like this. So there's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of people who don't know what they're doing. These are the types of things that you need to learn. And this is how you're gonna scale your account up. And that being said, if you made it to this period in the video, it means you're very committed. If you've been following our channel, you know we have a little joke going on with Pellegrino because I tried to partner with LaCroix they didn't let me and now you know I started plugging Pellegrino because I love Pellegrino if you comment Pellegrino in the description I'm gonna be giving to two people full access to our entire suite of training which is valued at right around a thousand dollars all you have to do is comment Pellegrino something that you liked about the video join our discord and in about a week or two I'm gonna be announcing two winners also I don't have a paid partnership with them but kind of a running joke that I'm trying to get one so we'll see what happens but anyways guys I hope this video was helpful for you if you're still here make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like trading investing and you appreciated this but until next time guys i will see you all in the next video